Okay, this is Hero again. Uh, we're still working on this juniper series. This is the procumbens or the Japanese garden juniper. And you notice how I've been uh, styling these. Uh, I think I told you before, these are ground cover type, so they crawl along the ground. Uh, you can still see the stick on this guy here. Uh, so I took it and then Of course, it took me maybe thir more than 30 years to get this point, and I got to get that stick out. But it's the same principle that I showed you when we were doing the, the bonsai with the stick to training. Just a lot bigger. So anyway, this is uh, part of the series. And I shall get to it. I think the biggest problem I'm going to have is I'm going to get that stick out of there. I thought this was the back, but this is just as good as the other side, isn't it? Well, uh, remember on the patio, bonsai, and Niwaki for the garden, we don't want any strong fronts or backs because it should be viewed from all sides. And I think that's what these will be. This will look great on somebody's big deck or patio. Well, one thing about us here in California, we do have a tendency to have a pretty good sized deck and patio. But anyway, I'm going to get started on this. I think in this series, I showed you that um, drop branches where it just comes down. Well, I think this one is more conventional. And then I'm trying to make this a drop branch, it probably makes no sense. So I'm going to uh, go, this will be a very traditional informal upright style and uh, none of Hero's wacky ideas, I think. This is most of the traditional one I have. I think this tree probably is the best representative of what I should be doing right now. Okay, uh, we're in the middle of September, so if we could get by with this light trimming, that's excellent. Uh, others that I've done needed more extensive uh, work, so it got pruned a little bit heavier than I would like, but this one here, I think is gonna come close what I've been talking about. This time of the year, uh, keep it light trim so we'll get rid of things that are down below and then things that are pointy. So this stage, what we really want to do is to get rid of these things that are on the underside, right? Make it a little neater looking. Maybe things that are growing on the trunk and then these uh, pointy ones, that's the new shoot. We want to make it so that it looks like it was already there, not trying to grow, right? So this one here, I think this is what it should look like in September. So I'll go ahead and get done and then get back to you. Uh, looks like the apex could use a little bit more definition. Things are doing well here, but then up here, then gets kind of jumbled up. And I'll go ahead and clean this out, and so that these uh, branches become more distinct. Very dramatic turn. See, it comes like this in a dramatic turn. And so my question was. Do I take all this off and highlight that? But I also kept worrying that it might burn there, so I kept these branches in place. And so, you know, these are dilemmas that I think we all should face. And uh, hmm. so I still don't have an answer for that. But there is that dramatic turn in there that it may look good if it's highlighted. And then as we go up, it's very classical informal upright. And so 
I was saying, this one represents what I was trying to say. In September, you should be looking like this, nice and full and under control. Okay, so I think I'll call this one quit for today. And like I was saying, this is about what I wanted uh, the others to look. So this time of the year, uh, towards the tail end of the year, these should look nice and full. Well, it has to do with the holidays. Uh, people would rather see a nice full tree than something that's been kind of just recently cut. So next spring, uh, if I could remember to do it, this one should have a deep cut so that uh, open it up, get more sunlight in there. See how up on top uh, it's getting some of the browning in there. It should improve now that I got more light coming in, but to prevent that from getting worse, we should thin it out. And that's basically a spring technique. So hopefully I'll have time to show you how that's done. Well, actually, I've already shown you uh, with the bonsai. So basically the same technique, just bigger. Okay, so anyway, and I'm still undecided about these lower branches. Do I expose the trunk for drama or keep it for safety? Anyway, so this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. And I thought this was the last of the series, but then I just remember where another one is. So um, anyway, I'll keep going. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.